So I told you guys that I was gonna make a video each weekend that didn't involve dogs and was from my exotic animal days, killer whales, lions, camels, whatever. I worked with a bunch of animals. So I saw this video and I thought it'd be perfect. I'm gonna show you this video of this killer whale jumping in the wild to get a dolphin and then tell you two stories. One involves how high I've ever, the highest I've ever seen a killer whale jump and two, the time I saw killer whales get into a fight and how insane it was. So here's the video, it's gonna happen real quick, so keep your eyes out. Jumps, hits the dolphin, and jumps into the water. Look how high this dude jumps. This is pretty crazy. There he goes, hits the dolphin, he's about 15 feet out of the water. Then he fluke flings or tries to, or another whale tries to fluke him, the dolphin. They're trying to eat the dolphin, of course. So this reminded me, at SeaWorld, well, first I thought this was photoshopped because that bow, which that jump is, it was like a perfect, almost looked like a, a, a whale in captivity bow where you train them to jump that perfectly. They just don't do that in the wild a lot, right? Those perfect high jumps. I was at SeaWorld. You train the whales to jump a certain height and you don't blow your whistle, which is the thing that says, good job. It's the same as a clicker training with dogs. You don't blow your whistle unless it's a certain height. And I remember when I was new, I was like, oh, it didn't quite get to that height, but I wanna blow the whistle so that the whale doesn't fail or think it's, fa think it's failed. And my, the senior trainers were like, don't do it. Like, they can get much higher than that. And I'm like, really? Like, I was thinking like that, you know, 10 foot jump was like high and, and they would, and I was like, I was like, I just wanna blow the whistle. And then one day, I saw this one whale, for some reason, just decide to launch out of the water. And this whale went doo -doo -doo, and just launched probably 20 feet with ease, just went zoop, and then did it again and did like 15 of these jumps. And I was like, oh, that's how high a whale can jump when it really wants to jump. The power of that jump was insane. It was higher than this jump. It was probably this high. And she just did it with ease. Fluke, fluke, underwater, wah, 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 and just launches herself out of the water with ease. And I was like, oh, so that's what they're capable of. I had no idea. And then I saw two whales get into a fight. And you're like, oh, the poor whales in captivity getting into fights. No, they get in fights in the wild too, which every animal gets into fights in the wild, all right? I saw these two males get into a fight and they were basically coming swimming and they would come out of the water and they would hit each other. And I was probably 30 feet away. You could feel the concussion through the air of these two whales meeting in the air. And I was like, holy mackerel. I hope one of those whales never gets mad at me because the power was more than I've ever seen. You can't imagine the power of a 12,000 pound killer whale. You can't imagine the power of a 12,000 pound elephant. You probably can't imagine the power of a rhinoceros. It's more than our comprehension as human beings. You can't even sort of imagine what it feels like, what it looks like, what it sounds like. It's off our charts. That's how animals are. Animals are so much bigger, stronger, and tougher than us that when those animals hit in the air and I felt the vibrations through the air and heard it, neither of them were hurt by the way, because they're the toughest animals in the world, I was like, oh, that's different. That's on a different other level. So I just wanted to show you that video, tell you those two stories, and remember to subscribe to the channel.